Good morning, and welcome to Redeemer Lutheran Church. I'm Pastor Gary Lodeholt. As we continue this week looking at some hymns from the Baptist tradition that have become some of our favorites, we want to turn today to the hymn with a title you likely won't recognize. You see, our hymns are titled by the first line of the hymn, and this hymn's first line begins, When Peace Like a River. So that is the name of the hymn. However, you likely know it by the first part of the refrain, It is well with my soul. In fact, this is a very powerful hymn with a very pointed message. It tells us that even when things are not going well, we can have peace as we continue to depend on God. That's a bit of a challenge for us. We want life to be fair, and sometimes we think that we are the point and that God owes us that things will go well. But neither of those things is promised in the Bible. Life is sometimes unfair, and we don't deserve what happens. Even so, even so, God walks with us in comfort and love, renewing our strength and giving us hope. The second verse of the hymn spells all this out succinctly. Though Satan should buffet, though trials should come, let this blessed assurance control that Christ has regarded my helpless estate and has shed his own blood for my soul. The hymn becomes even more poignant when you know the backstory. In 1873, Horatio Spafford planned a European vacation for his family, which had been advised by their family doctor because of his wife's poor health. At the last minute, Spafford had to remain in Chicago, but he sent his wife and four daughters ahead, planning to join them in Europe. Unfortunately, the ship they were on struck another ship and sank in just 12 minutes. Spafford received a telegram from his wife that said simply, Saved alone. His four daughters had all drowned. As he sailed to meet his wife, Spafford wrote this hymn, expressing even in the despair he felt his trust and hope in God. In fact, Spafford met with several tragedies in his life. Two years before his daughters died, he suffered heavy real estate losses in the Chicago fire, and in 1880, his son also died. In one of those moments when the church fails to live up to what it is supposed to be, the congregation Spafford was serving asked what he and his wife had done to have these tragedies fall upon them, and in the ensuing controversy, they were forced out of the church. Eventually, Spafford became interested in biblical archaeology, and he and his wife traveled to the Holy Land and established an American colony there, where he eventually died. The tune was written by Philip Paul Bliss, who was born in a log cabin in Pennsylvania in 1838. He had little formal education, and at age 12 joined the Baptist Church. When he got married, he worked on his wife's father's farm for a year before taking his horse and a $20 melodeon and took to the road as an itinerant musician. He taught singing in the schools in the winter and attended music school himself in the summers. Eventually, he joined in with Dwight L. Moody as a singing evangelist, traveling throughout the South, Midwest, and East. But Bliss and his wife were not spared tragedy either. In 1876, he and his wife were among the 100 people who were killed in a train wreck near Ashtabula, Ohio. When peace like a river is a comforting reminder that no matter what comes our way, we are not forsaken by God. In spite of everything, God is with us. The peace, love, comfort, and strength of God flows to us in grace. 
Thanks for watching, and remember to let this day belong to God.